Are we now entering what I call the age of agents, where powerful AI-driven assistants are being built right into the tools that we use every single day, like Teams, SharePoint, and Excel. Remember we know that agents aren't there to replace you, but they aren't generalists either. They're designed to enhance and improve what you already do. I mean, how many times have we thought, I wish I could do that in Excel, but lack the technical skills? Well, those times are now changing. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna walk through four of the latest agents in Microsoft 365. The firstly, the newly released facilitator agent in Teams that takes the stress out of meeting notes and follow-up. And we're then gonna check out previews of the new SharePoint knowledge agent, which now helps us structure our files and pull out metadata automatically. A brand new Viva community agent that delivers smart answers to community questions and the brand new agent mode in Excel, giving you AI powered help right inside of your spreadsheets. And before we dive in, over 90% of you who watch this channel aren't subscribed. If you've ever found any of our tutorials helpful, can you please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It really helps our channel and the bigger the channel gets, or well, the more tutorials I can bring you every week. So if you've ever thought there's gonna be an easier way to do this with AI, then check out this tutorial and let's dive in to those agents. So let's start off with Knowledge Agent. It's an agent built inside of SharePoint with lots of new capabilities. You can see it here hovering on one of our SharePoint sites. It's the SharePoint logo itself. By left clicking, we can open up this preview of the Knowledge Agent. And inside of here, we have a few different areas we can try out. First off, there's an option here to improve this site. Now our HR, our people fictional site was only created a couple of weeks ago so there isn't any inactive pages or content gaps or any broken links. But if you use this feature on one of your existing SharePoint sites, you'll easily be able to identify pages to retire or content gaps that people have been searching for but couldn't find the result for you to build. And also broken links, a helpful way to improve your SharePoint site. But let's go ahead and close this back down and reopen our knowledge agent. And we can also go ask a question and by asking a question, it's much like what we've seen before inside of our SharePoint or Copilot agents experiences. We can give this agent a question that pulls in information which has been found inside of the SharePoint site. As this all relates to HR policies, let's ask a question around the office dress code. And there we go. In just a few seconds, it summarized the answer from the employee handbook and identified the policy summary all around dress code. Yes, this agent is once again has a knowledge of everything in your SharePoint site, allowing you to find information without digging into hundreds of documents. Okay, that's useful capability, but what about something new? Well, here we have a set of HR policies that we've uploaded into our SharePoint site. With the new knowledge agent experience, we can extract metadata from all of these files, allowing people to browse through them using columns of metadata without me having to do any of that work. What we can now do is head down to our knowledge agent inside of this folder and then select organize this library. Now do be aware, if you use this feature, it will affect the whole library, which is exactly what it's showing here. Yes, not only this folder will have those new columns, but any other folders and files will also see them too. By removing this here, we can now see that the AI generation begins to look at each of these different files and adds in new columns that it suggests that we could now use for people to browse through. Possibly the policy scope, the effective date of the policy, and also anything relating to bribery reporting. But that's really not so applicable here because we only have one policy in relation to bribery. So on the right hand side, you can see where the knowledge agent has created these new columns. I'll simply go and click on remove to remove the bribery column, but I'm quite happy with these additional two columns here which will now be added into the folder so my peers can search through and get an idea of the metadata itself. Go ahead and click on Save Changes, and we can save these changes to the current view, which is currently the All Documents view. By selecting Save, the columns will now be added into the library and then will be populated with the help of our knowledge agent. We can see this on the right-hand side. The autofill activity is going through each of these different PDFs to extract the relevant detail 
and add it into both of these columns. That can take a few minutes, so we'll let it get started and work through that detail. And there we go. Just in a couple of minutes, we can now see it's already started to draft the information, the policy effective date, the policy scope for each of our different policies. We can also add additional columns once again using Knowledge Agent to auto-fill them under Organize This Library once again. And again, we can ask for new columns. Simply click on this idea icon here, and once again, it'll begin to review the content and identify if any new columns would also be useful inside of this folder. And we can see that by now policy version numbers, the distribution type, and the policy review frequency. Again, click on Save Changes, and we now have five new columns of metadata, all completed in just a few minutes with the help of our Knowledge Agent AI inside of SharePoint. Let's get started by heading into a Teams meeting and turning on Facilitator by selecting the free dot more menu and selecting Turn on Facilitator. Choose a language everyone's speaking. On the right hand side though, you'll now see a meeting notes section, which is just like the meeting notes powered by Microsoft Loop. Because guess what? That's where Facilitator is going to populate the notes. Yes, it means we can change it later and even make changes during the meeting. And we can also see Facilitator is noted in the chat as being turned on because yes, it will also post messages in the meeting chat to make you aware how your meeting is progressing and even the agenda points too. Now let's wait for our meeting to start and Matthew to join our meeting. So once the meeting has started and a few minutes in, well, we'll see something that we haven't seen before. Inside of the meeting chat, the facilitator agent will now add a post and will outline the agenda that we're gonna be discussing within our meeting. You can see this by selecting the chat icon and it appears here inside of the meeting chat, allowing me and my colleagues to understand the agenda for me to focus on. You'll even see at the top of the screen, the agenda is now shown in a visual indicator, breaking down the different points we should cover inside of our meeting that we can see visibly inside of Teams. And at regular intervals, while well now the Facilitator app begins to write in the meeting notes live in the meeting that me and my colleagues can see in real time, written into that Microsoft Loop powered meeting notes experience. We can also make adjustments, but we can see them visibly in the meeting as we go. And one of Facilitator's superpowers is inside the meeting chat, we can ask it questions that can connect to SharePoint or web data. I've asked it here, what cost considerations could we consider to reduce subcontractors? That information has not been discussed in our meeting yet, but it connects to the web and now it outlines what we could consider to reduce the reliance and also the cost model for subcontractors. That now means during your meeting, you can tag facilitator and ask questions. And because we're in the meeting chat, you and your peers can also see those responses. So as we come to the end of our meeting, we can see here a range of meeting notes, all captured live in the meeting, as well as follow-up tasks that we can now sync in Microsoft Planner and to do by assigning them to my peers or even myself. With that now done, I'll go ahead and close this meeting and we'll check what happens with Facilitator post the meeting. And now post the meeting, we can go to your Teams calendar and double click into the meeting itself. Now we use the Facilitator app to take the notes and the great news is, they're populated into a Microsoft Loop page. You can see them all here embedded into the meeting itself. That now means we can make any adjustments to them. For example, if I wasn't happy with a particular point raised in these notes, well, I could go ahead and just simply left click and delete it from the notes or add any other points I also believe would be beneficial. But in addition to that at the bottom, well, all the tasks that we also discussed in the meeting can now be assigned using Microsoft To-Do and Microsoft Planner. Yes, they're already defined here, all the tasks that were mentioned, and we can very simply click into them and assign colleagues that will then synchronize into Planner and Microsoft To Do. So a powerful way to take your notes using the Facilitator app and then allowing them to be shared really easily by simply copying the component and sharing them with your peers. If you're loving this new wave of intelligent AI tools right inside the Microsoft 365, but you're still not sure where to start or even keep up. Well, that's exactly why I've launched the brand new Your 365 Coach Academy. It's an all access hub to master tools like SharePoint, Copilot, Teams, Planner and more. Over 300 on-demand video lessons guided by real world scenarios and even live learning sessions every month where you can join me and our expert team 
because it's designed to keep you learning, growing and ahead of the curve. And the best part? Well, you can get started today with a free trial. Why not head to the link in the video description below to get started and gain instant access to our brand new academy. So let's now head back into our agents and find out what's new. And there's a new agent experience coming to Viva Engaged Communities. Communities are a great way to be able to also work with your colleagues and peers for both communities in and outside of the workplace. But the problem is if you have many questions, it could be hard to keep up with them and answer all those important questions. But now there's a new agent experience coming inside of Viva Engage. It allows the agent to answer questions for information inside of the community or in the future from content from SharePoint 2. In fact, we can check this out today. Inside of our sports and social club community in Viva Engage, there's a question here from Megan. Will equipment be provided for the five-a-side football session? Well, that's been covered off in a past community post around the equipment being provided. But because I've enabled the new agent experience in Viva Communities, on the left-hand side, we can click into our agent. What we can now see here is an answer that's now came back with the help of our agent. It's taken the information from a previous post inside of the community. And now I can understand what the answer could be. I can even expand the reasoning to understand where that information was taken from. And also now as an expert in this community, I can now go ahead and click on approve and add that back onto the post itself, ensuring Megan gets her reply and others can also see that response. And guess what? This agent experience can even post answers without your approval. Because yes, back in our community settings where I went and enabled this agent for the agent settings, you can see here that automatically our agent could even answer questions if I turn this option to off, ensuring any replies are then posted straight away rather than needing review. But I'm quite happy with this response generated by our agent. I'll go ahead and click on approve. And you can see here, it will be marked as verified by myself, ensuring a human, i.e. myself, has reviewed this and verified it to make sure it's the correct answer. It can take a few minutes to now appear inside of Viva Engaged Communities. We can see the start of the agent experience and see how an agent inbuilt in Viva Communities can improve the overall experience to you and your peers. And finally, let's check out agent mode in Excel. It's an AI that can speak Excel, was built straight into the app. But this is in preview, meaning we'll access it for an add-in known as Excel Labs. You can go ahead and search for it and open up Excel Labs. When you do that, you'll be prompted then to use agent mode, assuming you have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And when you can see this option here, well, now we can begin to use our agent mode. Let's now go ahead and give this a question. Let's ask it to analyze this data to understand the amounts of overdue invoices and the clients who have not paid and the age of the debt too, taking a hundred different rows of data from our Excel spreadsheet and doing a full analysis. So let's give it a go and see what agent mode can come up with. And there we go. It did take a few minutes, but now we can see that this agent mode has built something, well, is pretty awesome inside of Excel. You can see inside of the conversation dialogue, it outlines what it's built for me, the key findings, the different clients of unpaid invoices and the days overdue, and the aging summary for the debt, and even the top 10 oldest outstanding invoices. But the left-hand side is really where the power is. Because it's built into Excel, it's also created some additional information. You can see here, it's even built the different formula columns to work out sums. And all this information has been generated by the agent. And even a list of all of our top 10 oldest outstanding invoices and a pivot table as well, which we can also adjust. This shows you that the new agent mode in Excel can now work with our data in a way that we would have seen previously with tools like Analyst in Copilot, but directly in Excel, with information we can change and adapt, and even the formulas have been created for us. And a new agent mode is not only limited to working with existing Excel data, I think also where it can add a lot of value is creating brand new Excel spreadsheets. Let's go ahead and once again open up Excel Labs. And now in our agent mode, I'm going to give it a prompt to build a new loan calculator that computes monthly payments based on user inputs for loan amounts and more. 
Let's go ahead and give this to our agent mode. It will not only build a spreadsheet, but something powerful we continue to use moving forward. As we can see, the loan calculator is now nearly built. But interestingly, in column E, we can see a problem. It's worked out one of the remaining balance items, but the rest is unsure about. We've got an error for NA. On the right hand side though, we can now see the Excel labs begins to work through this problem to resolve the formula issue and also get this corrected. And there we go. We can now see the remaining balance in column E has also been fixed with the different formulas. And this spreadsheet, well, we can fully work with it. Let's go ahead and type in our loan amount and increase the amount for the loan. We can see then that this spreadsheet information is updated and it can be made different changes to it. And not only that, we can see there's over 300 rows of information. So in a simple prompt, we've now built a fully working loan calculator that's adjustable and editable using a range of formulas and formatting that we may have not understood or been able to do previously. So you now see why I feel that we're moving into a new age of agents. Because Microsoft 365 is now introducing alongside Copilot intelligent AI enabled helpers right inside the apps that we use every day. And we're also just getting started because there's an upcoming new agent called the channel agent built into Teams. And it's gonna link into project manager inside of Planner. So we can now imagine planning and managing an entire project in a Microsoft team with an AI powered agent helping us coordinate, prioritize and keep everyone aligned. And I'll be checking it out in a future tutorial. So why don't hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that upcoming tutorial and find all about the new experience in Teams. But I'm really interested to know, of all the agents we've seen today, which one are you most excited to try out? Remembering that some of these are in preview, so they won't be available for you straight away, but at least it gives us a glimpse of what's the coming in the future with agents in Microsoft 365. And with that, if you've loved this tutorial, why don't you hit the like button to let me know, the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming future tutorials, and the all important bell icon. Other than that, thanks for joining today. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.